Yeah, now here is question number seven. Now on the left hand side that we have here, we have the graph of a cup of coffee that cools down according to Newton's law of cooling. And then this differential equation here actually depicts the process that is going on here. So based on what we have here, you have the cup of coffee that's actually very very hot initially and then cools down until it reaches the environment temperature where we see that it's very very constant it's constant there anyway so now the question says we should find tm tm is actually called the ambient temperature in other words it's the environment environment temperature temperature and from what we can find here you would observe that since it cools down then ultimately become constant at this area here it simply implies that here is going to be the environment temperature so if you're going to draw something like that you have something like this something like this so and that should be 75 ish something like 75 we have an approximation here exactly anyway so what we have there should be 75 should be our ambient and then next is how then do we find t naught t naught according to what we have here is the initial temperature that is when t equals zero when the time is zero what is the temperature so the temperature when time equals zero the temperature is this point here so this is that point and this point here we could just say it corresponds to 100 and 75 something like that 175 180 anyone works so 175 that is for t naught now the next thing is how then can we find k how can we find k the first thing you need to keep in mind is what does the t the t actually mean interpretation of the tdt is the slope is the slope the slope of t the rate at which the temperature is changing with time and then this is the graph this is the graph of t and what we have here is the graph is the graph of t so the thing is to find the slope of this graph you have the slope at each of these points the slope at each point is going to be the tangent at each of those points now if you're going to choose different points for example if you're going to choose this point you choose this point you choose this point you choose several points to find the slope at those points you have to take the tangent at those points there now our bone of contention is we know tm but how do we find t and how do we find the t the t so that we can actually find k what we'll do is there are different paradigms that we could use in trying to solve a kind of problem like this now for example the slope i'm going to show you three different lines three different lines for this straight line here we have our slope to be equal to zero for this line here the slope equals one i'm assuming it is perfect for five degrees and then for a line like this we have the slope to be equal to negative one so to be able to choose or to approximate a value of k we look for because there's no one that looks like this none of them looks like this anyway none looks like this and according to this place if you draw the tangent at any of these points none looks like this either except this point here but which really doesn't really is going to help in this area because we need a value for k so but we have one that actually looks like this and the one that looks like this is the one that is actually pointing if you, if you look at it very very well you'd observe that there is a point this point here this point here is the one we are actually talking about that is when you draw a tangent it's almost for five degrees so you could choose a point here like this and then if you're going to project this towards this line here you have something like something like this something like this so 
we could say that this point here corresponds to um, we could think of maybe 85 85 is not bad for an approximation so this simply means that when t equals 85 the slope which we are assuming the slope as the t dt equals negative 1 so we are going to use this to find k so the t dt equals negative 1 equals k into rt now which is 85 minus rtm rtm we've gotten that already which is 75 85 minus 75 that's about 10 so minus 1 equals k into 10 so to find k k is just negative 1 divided by 10 and that is minus 0 0.0.1 0 .1. so that's how you find k so it's just it's a little clumsy but when you take your time you get your answer and that rounds the work for that day